Hello, YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. Welcome to the Wednesday edition of entertainment and pop culture. As I love to say, it's not cute not knowing. I go by the nickname Ginger, and we start off with a hug because somewhere, somewhere, someplace, somebody needs a hug. So come on. We are a little spicy today. Candy Burris from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She's talking about the threesomes with her husband. Candy says she often invites other women into bed with her husband. She does not have another man join them. It's just other women. Why is Candy being so open? Is it because the Versus is on Saturday night with Escape versus SWV? Saturday night, 8 o'clock, everybody. It's best to watch it on IG at Versus, B-E-R-Z-U-Z TV. That's... That's the easiest way to find it. That's Saturday night. Is that why she's doing it? Or is it because Tiny and T.I., they know a lot of her secrets. And they're involved in their own troubles. But will they drag Candy in it? Like, well, Candy does it. I always say, if there's some kind of scandal or anything, get in front of your own story. Tell on yourself first so nobody can tell on you. When you, when you let other people tell your story and you just stay silent and in denial, it doesn't turn out good. If you get in front of your own story, just by saying, yeah, I did it, it just kind of like, it just takes the, it takes the air out of the balloon. That's an old saying for someone said, air out of the balloon? I, I never heard that. It takes the air out of the balloon. So I think she's getting in front and admitting to things within her marriage she always said that she had a little freaky side to her, but I think she's getting in front of a story, but I'm old school. I just think that everybody don't need to know. <laughs> I just think that everybody don't need to know what's, what's going on. A black Superman with a black director. Warner Brothers and DC Comics have announced there will be a black Superman. There will be a black director. Hollywood is hysterical because nobody's original. They over there looking at Marvel and Black Panther and Ryan Coogler, and they said, hmm, we want some of that money. Who could be the director of a Black Superman movie? Could it be Shaka King, who brought us Judas and the Black Messiah? Regina King, a woman, one night in Miami. Barry Jenkins, who brought us Moonlight and if Bill Street could talk. Who could be the black Superman? Now, before everybody starts screaming, Michael B. Jordan, I'm going to tell you why that, that won't work. Warner Brothers and DC are one entity. Marvel Comics is a whole other entity. As long as he is Killmonger, Black Panther, Wakanda forever, because he might pop up, he's committed to doing the Marvel world and being in the whole Marvel universe. So he wouldn't come over to play. Superman, even though people are saying he should be Superman. I just don't see it. I think they're going to get either an unknown or maybe they'll get an actor that we know. Now, you know the big controversy is going to be, will they be African-American? Will they be British? You know, it's really come down to that with these roles. But they're saying there will be a black Superman and it will be a black director. Let's talk about some movies that are coming out. We're going to start with Tiffany Haddish teaming up with Billy Crystal. In the movie here today, it's an unlikely friendship between two people. Tiffany has been all over the talk show circuit and, and talking. Y'all know that's my girl. Um, she says she wants to adopt a child. She is from the foster system. She lived in foster care. From the age of 13 to 18, she's talking about it. She is still with Common, but she is being smart. Don't go running your mouth all about your relationship with Common. If it's the best relationship you ever had, keep it as that because people want to get in your business. And even though they're two different people, they probably work for each other. But Tiffany, good luck with that. Another movie is a movie monster. I've talked about this. Came out, it, it, was, it was made three years ago. Jennifer Hudson, Jeffrey Wright. Calvin Harrison Jr. is, he's a newcomer, but you're going you're gonna to hear a lot about him. You got Nas, you got ASAP Rocky. Even John David Washington is in it. It's about a good kid 
photographer, good in school, loving parents. He gets called up with the wrong crowd. A robbery goes crazy. He's in with the wrong crowd. And he is charged with a murder that he did not commit. But that wrong place, wrong time crowd. Prosecutor keeps describing him as, as a monster. But he's really this good kid who just got caught up in a very, very unfortunate thing. There's a trailer for it, right? And I posted it on my Instagram. I start crying. Y'all know menopause, it makes me crazy, but maybe it's just too close to home because I have a teenage kid who, I, I start crying. I'm sure it's good. You guys tell Auntie about it and let me know. It looks really good, but I don't know. When I saw When They See Us, I cried a river of tears, a river. My eyes swelled up, my nose, because when I get upset, and that and and not that when they see us wasn't good, it was, but I just couldn't handle it. And when I met um, the guy Corby, I met him at a concert. I grabbed him so hard, he probably thought I was crazy. Um, and I was just like, "Are you okay? Are you? Are you? Are you? You're you're going to be fine." I just sometimes I get a little too emotional for my own good, so I start crying. But it looks like a very good movie it does um wait a minute hold on this is this is kind of like the show within the show and okay there we go okay we're back <laughs> i multitask there's a radio show then i come over here and do this then i go back over and do the radio show and i think we're ready okay so anywho i start crying please let me know how it is it starts streaming on netflix on friday Anderson Cooper is not doing well on Jeopardy. The lowest ratings ever for Jeopardy. The, the producers of the show say there will be a new permanent host named when a new season of Jeopardy starts in the fall. We just don't know who it's going to be, but it's not going to be Anderson Cooper because those ratings are not good. The final interview that DMX gave is going to air on TV One May 16th. It was the last interview he did before he died. TV One is also having their Urban Honors that same night, so it's a huge night for TV One. They're honoring a lot of outstanding women. Broadway is reopening September 14th. If you're saying, well, if New York is opening in May, why does it take so long? You got to get the actors and dancers and stage and productions, and it's got to come together. But some of the shows they say coming back are Wicked, Lion King, Hamilton, Aladdin, Ain't You Proud the Big, Music Man, Chicago, American Utopia, just some of the shows and tickets are going on sale this week, but Broadway, the Great White Way, is going to be opening up in New York in September on the 14th. The zombie thriller, Army of the Dead. Omari Hardwick is in it with Dave Bautista. It's about a bank heist and then zombies. It's coming on Netflix on the 21st, but starting May 14th, it's going to open in some theaters, but it looks crazy. It looks interesting. It's zombie. It's thriller. It's a bank heist, but that's going to be coming out. And the dad bod is in. The new thing is the dad bod. Will Smith just tore social media apart when he revealed his dad bod, but he's doing it because he's got a YouTube series coming out. He's got scientists and pro athletes as he gets the best body of his life. Well, Marlon Wayans is the latest showing off his dad bod and his birthday is coming up in August. He said he's going to have the best body of his life. He's got a good movie. He's in the new Respect movie. Aretha Franklin with Jennifer Hudson plays Aretha Franklin. Marlon Wayans plays the bad husband, the pimp. And he says people are not going to believe him just playing this bad guy. And he's just really stretching his acting thing. And I'm excited about seeing Marlon Wayans. But he's showing up his dad bod. And he said, you know what? I'm going to get my best body too. Leave a comment. Hit the notification so you'll know when we pop up on you with a brand new video. We appreciate you. Yes, we do leave a comment because auntie if you got a heart that means that i definitely saw it so keep them coming in 
Thanks for joining us on this Cinco de Mayo. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.